Hello, Andrew here, and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, um, this is where I would normally be doing my um, Premier League predictions for the weekend. But, as um, we can um, see, that all games have been called off until the 4th of April, um, due to this coronavirus. Uh, what does that mean for the Premier League, um, the title? Well, it means Liverpool can win the title against Manchester City on the 6th of April um, <coughs> with a win. So, yeah. Um, but anyway, um, as there's not football to talk about, um, let's get into it. Um, let's see that, well... Basically, this coronavirus is just basically taking over the whole entire world. I mean, it, it's crazy. It's stupid. Especially, um, my, so Italy have closed all schools and the entire country is on lockdown. America have su suspended all flights from Europe. Ireland closed all schools for two weeks. France closing all schools from Monday. Britain, sing happy birthday while we're washing our hands for 20 seconds. I mean, come on. What are they worried about the economy, about the money? I it, This country needs to go on lockdown. Um, I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, you've got to fear for your family, your friends, your relatives. Um, especially the elderly or the ones with f poor immune systems. It, it They're the ones that's going to get it. And, you know, they, some of them might not be able to fight it. And you do worry. Um, like... A lot of people are putting jokes on all sorts of things and all that lot. Um, yeah, some of it's funny, but is the coronavirus a joking matter? No, it's not. It It's a serious thing, and people are actually dying from it. I mean, look at China, right? It, they're an example of why Britain should go on lockdown. They've gone on lockdown. No one in, no one out. People stay in their homes for two weeks. Um, not care about how much money and stuff that's being lost, etc., etc. And their cases have gone from 3,000 down to 8. It was 8 of yesterday. I mean, yeah, they're cleaning all their streets and everything and all that. But a, it's a whole country effort. I mean, Britain just seemed to, oh, no, no, we can't afford to do this. We can't, you know, we're gonna, we don't want to lose money, blah, 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 blah. And... It shouldn't be about that. It should be about the people that live in Britain, their safety. I mean, look at like I say, look at the Premier League. They fear for the football safety, the players, the managers, and all that lot. So what they've done? They've they've shut it down uh, for two weeks. I mean, will the Euros go ahead? I don't know. It all depends if this virus gets contained. Um, your big events like UFCs, your WrestleManias and that lot, they're all on standby whether they go ahead or not because um, country, the other countries are literally, they're trying to get it under control. And yeah, we're just like, just make sure you wash your hands. Yeah, well done, Boris Johnson. I mean, Jurgen Klopp's message was more bloody inspiring than that. Um, and it, it's... Uh, you, we could talk football, um, we could talk coronavirus, but at the end of the day, it's all about um, your, your friends, your family, your relatives, um, you know, and just hopefully, um, I'm basically, instead of doing my football this week, I'm sending a message out, I'm sending a message out to anyone, anyone who's got coronavirus, anyone who know people with coronavirus, um, I hope everyone pulls through, I hope we all get through it as a country, um, and yeah, um, my heart goes out to all fa friends, family, relatives, and um, people I don't know. Just keep yourself safe, um, and yeah, just keep your family safe. That's all you can do. So yeah, please like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll speak to you all when the football returns. And hopefully by then, um, this is under wraps. It's under control. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Goodbye.